Hey guys, Scott here. In this video, I want to show you how to set up a Joomla security plugin called JSecure. Now Joomla has pretty good security normally, but the only flaw that I see is anyone can find out what your site is or find out what your site's using, if it's using Joomla or not, by simply putting in the administration or administrator to the end of your URL. And then if this loads the Joomla login page, they know it's a Joomla website. And it also gives them the ability to try and log in. Now, I find that personally to be a security flaw. And that's what this JSecure plugin fixes. And I'll show you how that all works once I've installed it. So the first thing you need to do is download the JSecure extension. And if you scroll down on this tutorial page a bit, there'll be a link to it just here. So I'm just going to click that and that's going to load the page to install this. Or sorry, it's going to load the um, JSecure extension page. Okay, so this will load the Joomla extension database page where JSecure is. So all I'm going to do here is click download. Now I have to say that JSecure actually requires you to pay for it. I think it's like $10 or something. But if you're serious about your Joomla website, it's actually um, very good and I do recommend getting it. And I'll show you what it, exactly what it does once I've installed it. And you can decide whether you want it or not. There's the description on it. It tells you you need to be logged in with the subscription to download it. So I'm just going to log in. Okay, now that I've logged in, I can download it. So you have to pay the $10 usually to be able to download it, but I've already got a subscription. So I'm just going to download this and click save file. Okay. Okay, so that's downloaded. I'm going to come into, log into my Joomla administration site now. So you log into Joomla and you want to come to extensions here and then install, uninstall. And we want to install that extension we just downloaded. So under upload packaged or package file, just click browse, locate the JSecure extension, which is just here for me, which is JSecure 2.1.9. And see it says unzip first. So I'm just going to right click it, go extract all, next, unzip it however you want. I'm going to change the directory. I'm actually going to unzip this to the desktop. Show extracted files. Okay, you'll see that there's actually, the reason it come like that is because they've got both exten extensions in here for Joomla 1.5 and Joomla 1.6. I actually don't recommend using Joomla 1.6 at the moment. And I explained that in other parts of my um, website, but the main reason is because Joomla 1.6 isn't actually going to be supported for that long. There's going to be a Joomla 1.7 coming out in just over a month, I think, or a month or two. And then there's going to be a 1.8, and then I think there's another one after that. So basically, there's, they're using Joomla 1.6 as a stepping stone to make the next version of Joomla. And Joomla 1.5 is more secure and has a lot more support than Joomla 1.6, so you're much better off using 1.5 at the moment. So I'm just going to come back to here and instead of using that one that says unzip first, I'm going to go to the desktop now, open that folder I unzipped them to, open that, and I want to select the Joomla 1.5 one for me. And now click open, now just upload and install. And you should say install component success. So it's installed now, now we need to set it up. So to do this we go to components and then come down to JSecure authentication and just click this link here. Like actually click that, that'll load the first page. To show you what it does, so usually to log into Joomla, you'd type in administrator, identity thing, so that's what you do to log in. Now because I've already signed in, it's going to redirect into Joomla, which I expected anyway, but usually that loads the login page. So now if I change or enable this extension, so it's enabled, yes, pass key, URL, I'm going to use the URL first to show you what that does, and then I'll use the form and show you what that does. So the URL, now you put in the key. This is basically the access key, which is needed to load the um, administration page. So to show you this, I'm just going to type in key here. So that I put in K-E-Y. Make sure you enter something that you do know and write it down, because if you forget this, you're going to have a lot of trouble loading your login page. 
So you use something that you do know and make sure you type it in properly. So that's that. So once that's done, just click save and details have been saved. Okay, so now I'm just gonna log out of Gemly here. So I'm gonna click log out. And I'm gonna show you what happens if I just type, try to log into Joomla normally. So now if I type in administration, administrator, usually that would load Joomla, the Joomla administration login. So now if I go to that address, all it's gonna do is redirect me straight back to mysite.com. It won't load the login form. So now people won't know that you're actually using Joomla and they won't be able to attempt logins. So now how do you actually get back to your login side of Joomla? Type in the same thing again. So type in administrator. But now what you want to do at the end is put in a question mark and then that key that you typed in. Remember I said I typed in key? So this will be the access key to log in. So now if I put in the key, like question mark, then the key you used, enter. Now this will actually load my login page for Joomla. So basically you need to know that key before you can actually load the page. So to remember to get to that, it's just yoursite.com forward slash administrator forward slash and then put in the question mark and then type in the key you used when setting up the extension. So now if I come back to components here and click that again, so JSecure authentication, you can change the key here just by entering a new key. But for now, I'm just going to change it to a form to show you what the form does. And now type in the key again, just to be safe. So K-E-Y, type in whatever you want, just your password basically. Now click save. And details have been saved. So I'm going to log out again. Now let's see what happens when I try to log in this time. Okay, so here's my Joomla page. Now let's try to log into the admin site again. So administrator. And now instead of loading the Joomla login, it wants the key first. So it doesn't tell you it's using Joomla. It just comes up saying you need to enter the uh, enter key value. So if you don't feel like you're going to remember the URL you need to use to log in, just use the form version because then it just comes up asking you what the key is. So now if I type in key and click submit, this will load my login page. So you have that option as well. Now you can log in. So that's what JSecure does. And personally, I see that as being a very good extension and it adds nicely to Joomla security, makes Joomla that much more secure. But for now, I'm just going to disable this again so that it, I can show you it goes back to normal. So if you click no here, so change enable to no and click save, that'll remove it so that you can log in normally. So that's how that extension works. I'm just going to double check that by logging out again. Yep, and you can see that's a normal page. And if I just go to mysite.com administrator, it loads this. So that's back to normal now. So that shows you how to install the extension and how to enable it and why it is you should use it. It really adds to the security of Joomla. So that's all for this video. If you're watching this video on YouTube and it helped, please thumbs up, subscribe and comment. And there's also a link to my website in the description.